Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jamie on YouTube here and welcome to the Bill and Ted Face the Music movie review. So I got to see this movie yesterday and I had mentioned in a previous video that I wasn't gonna, going to go into this video listening to the reviews, reading the reviews, and I wanted to form my own opinion about it and go into this film with an open mind and I am so glad I did. It was it was it was really enjoyable. It was fun. It was way better than I expected. Even just a hundred thousand times better because I knew it was going to be good. But uh, you can tell this movie has been worked on and worked on, and meticulously thought through. And I have also read that this movie took a long time to to get going, and there was a lot of problems with you know production and the the script and everything. And I'm so glad they released this movie. Of course, it was great seeing Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter back as Bill and Ted. Uh, and it was just... <sighs> you got, you got to see it. I mean, if you're a Bill and Ted fan, you must see this movie. It's imperative. You can stream it online. I think you can buy it, like on Blu-ray or DVD. I don't think it's in the movie theater. Are movie theaters even open? I, I wish they are. I hope they are. But, you know, I just streamed it here at, at home and of course there was a lot of other characters that they had in the movie there's a lot of cameos i'm not going to spoil those for you i don't want to do that to you there's some really great cameos in this and they showed bill and ted's uh kids also in the movie they had they had a kid each and they were working together to come up with um a band to back Bill and Ted because Bill and Ted are trying to come up with the song of the universe, the best song ever written. And, uh, there was a cameo. I, I well, I'm not going to say it. No, I, I did. I said, I wouldn't mention the cameos. I'm not going to do it. Nope. Not going to do it. I stopped myself. And his kids are looking for people like Jimi Hendrix and, uh, Louis Armstrong, Louis Armstrong and, uh, Mozart. And it was fun seeing them. Although I kind of wish they didn't have them as much in the movie because I wanted it really all to be Bill and Ted. But it was okay. It worked with, with, the, with the story. It went well with the story. So out of five stars, I'm going to give this movie... Well, I hate to say it. It's not a five. Uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, the first one, is a five. And the second one, Bogus Journey, I would give a four. But you know what? I think I enjoyed this one more than Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. So I'm going to bump this one up to a 4.5 or 4.5. Definitely not as good as Excellent Adventure in my opinion, and but definitely better than Bogus Journey, which I still liked. I gave it a 4. So 4.5 four stars for Bill and Ted Face the Music. They're trying to come up with a song to save the universe. I will mention Kristen, Kristen Shaw is in this. She's a comedian. Uh, she was also on the Last Man on Earth show, which I really liked and enjoyed. She was good in this, playing Rufus's daughter. There was just, and there, there's a couple scenes where that Bill and Ted are sitting with their wives at the at the therapist, and they're trying to tell them that they tell their wives that they love them, and they both keep saying they love them. So it's it's got a lot of great comedy. What else about it? It's just. Uh, it flowed really nicely. It didn't seem very long. It was the music was great, of course, and the last song is definitely the best song in the universe to save the universe. So that's all I'm going to say for now. Check out Bill and Ted Face the Music on streaming, wherever you want to stream it on, Hulu, whatever. So well, Hulu you can't, but anyway, YouTube you probably could. So please like, subscribe comment, share, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see y'all later, and thanks for watching, and I will be back on another one. Thank you.